And we're back, you guys, and let us continue. So last time we got into this fortress here, and now we're going to be using this cannon. If I can get out of this lag, which is weird. And sorry, I have the windows open, so the wind's blowing in. Blow it up. Yeah. That's it's right. just so hot in here. I'm not going to be able to record with the windows closed. <laughs> yes. Yes. Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. That was bloody brilliant. All right, Jammy, don't get too excited. Okay. You know what happens when you do. Let's just take care of the last one. Just one left. Thank God. I don't remember setting this one up. Look at that. Bunch of hollow men. Alright, so we shoot at these guys. If they're close enough to each other, you'll be able to blow up like at least three or four. Really depends on the angle from which you shoot. But you don't need to worry about ammo, you can just keep shooting. This is the easy part of the mission. Poof. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to blow up zombies. <laughs> You gotta keep doing this. This is something that you can do later on if you like. Um, but I'm gonna be like explaining that later of why I'm not gonna be doing it later. But um, you can get like a lot of experience and whatnot. See, I mean, as you can see, you can see the uh, the hero points going up. So it's really cool. suddenly popped up. Keep in mind it's impossible to like destroy them absolute, absolutely all of them. I think it's either you defeat a certain number or the game automatically during a certain time period uh, you know stops this whole process altogether. At least on this uh, section of the game. Oof. It's a really nice little cutscene there. So on this section we're going to be fighting a uh, bunch of zombies that are going to be coming out from that entrance. What's taking them so long? Oh wait a second, I have to cross this line. <laughs> Nobody was. go. So the weapon that we got last time comes in handy in this place. 
because it has like a like a plus damage to undead if you level it up completely while shooting at them. So this is the best place to use that gun, and I think it's the best gun. Of, well, not the best gun of the whole game because I'm pretty sure there are like a lot better guns out there, but it's better to have a plus damage weapon for for the undead. Because uh, the, these are the most common enemies of the game. We'll be fighting more undead people than any other creature. Or at least all, almost all the way to the end. Jammy died. <laughs> he, he always dies. Never seen the guy survive this thing up the two times I've been here. Not sure if there's like an alternative where he lives. Definitely don't know about that. There should be a boss battle in a few minutes. Or not in a few minutes, but like in a minute or two. There's this spell, a new one. Works like a charm. You know, I try to use the gun a lot, but if I have the opportunity to take care of some of them that, that, that are close ranged, I'll use my other weapons. But like, is, like you can see, they, they're eliminated so quickly that it's almost... Uh, you know, it's almost useless to try and use any other weapon. Oh, that guy died. Not sure if you can save, like, everybody. It's, it's just so chaotic. You just kill a, uh, a monster on a spot and it just pops. Another one pops at the exact same spot, so... I don't know how you can, like, prevent everybody from dying. This definitely takes a while. Wow. Here we go. And here comes the big guy. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice dog shot there. <laughs> so this guy, um, he spawns a lot of zombies around him to protect him. But if you focus your damage on him, when he's done, like in, like, like he's done taking damage. Uh, every other hollow man will just disappear and then he'll pop back in again and then he'll just keep doing that all over the place so here, can, here he comes again he's got some of the uh, spells that we can use in this game that sword spell is one of the ones that we can learn, but like I said before, I'm not planning on buying any other spell. Any other uh, hero point will be spent on improvements of magic, range, uh, melee weapon, and uh, and profession. You know, to make some money at end game. Jeez, die already. This guy's taking a beating. He's 
just standing there. Okay. Nice. Even got a cutscene there. There we go again. That's really awesome. Oh, cool. So you can see it, it, it just stuns him and, and it hits him at the same time. It's the best. That was pretty damn impressive. So, your father wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. We did it! No, really! We did! Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible odds. They won the end. Well, Sir Walter, you didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you, for a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside, and these new soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you make a soldier's oath. Let your armies protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. I promise. All right, so in we portal into the portal we go. Let's see what we get now. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength, and you move one step closer becoming the leader this kingdom needs. I wonder who delivers the food to Teresa out there at the spire. You know, maybe she calls into like a sea service where the ship comes by and gives her the food she needs and and other stuff, entertainment and whatnot. <laughs> uh just a bunch of crap here, except that. These are the other professions. What do we got on this side? Looks pretty much like, yeah, battle uh, upgrades. Let me upgrade this one primarily, because magic is a really important thing right now, especially since we've learned that, that combination of spells. We're going to be kicking some butt. So at 60, I'm going to take this so that later on I could just focus on getting the uh, the gun upgrade and the weapon up upgrade, melee weapon. Alright, let's go back. We are going to watch it loading again. The loading chicken. Then it's settled. We're heading back to Bowerstone now. There are some people there I'm hoping will join us. We'll send for you when we're ready. Then I shall bid you good luck and farewell and all that. And just try not to get the rest of these lads killed, will you? We're going to need you all. You always know what to say to keep morale up, Wally. Now get out of here. Farewell, my friends. Come on, you did good today. But we're just getting warmed up. 
So we can go for a walk. Walter's gonna be saying that in a sec. If you pay a like it, go ahead. I'll meet you at the sewers to Bowerstone. You can't miss them. Of course I can't. I have a a glowy path that tells me exactly where I need to go, so yeah, I'm not gonna be getting lost anytime soon, so yeah. So, it's not like there's like a, like a lot of stuff around here. Maybe some chests. Uh, this thing here is for later. It looks awesome, but let me tell you, it's a complete waste of time. I'm telling you, it's it's just so not worth it. You know, when it pops up, I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, the thing I said about before that we come back here when you can shoot zombies, uh, you can't do it unless you pay like a lot of money to buy this this place and you just come by and you start shooting at stuff so it's a good way to make experience but it's really unnecessary because other than that you just get like special items if you uh, do some you know if you break the high score and all that but I really didn't find anything like important out of it you know I just uh, you know I just decided not to do it for the let's play uh, I'm a little more focused on relevant things and uh, especially since the things in this game that you do inside questing, uh, some of them are just so not uh, motivating that I just don't get into them because they're so not related to neither the story nor they seem like they don't even seem like story themselves. They just seem like some random uh, thing that just doesn't make any sense. Like it, it just it just serves absolutely no purpose. Um, and you get to see Yami's, uh, Yami's soul, you know, the guy who died, and he's, like, helping you with the cannon and, and shooting zombies, but that's really all that there is, you know, and, uh, and the, 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 you know, the wall of fire, later on I'll explain why it's, uh, like a waste of time, like, I just, you know, I just don't bother with it, I, I don't do it, I just... No, I did the whole thing and I was just so disappointed, like, I thought, wow, this is it, this is all I get, wow. <laughs> so, um, you know, I hope you guys understand, I know that some people like to see 100% runs on games, but if the game doesn't motivate me to do 100%, then I just don't feel like forcing myself to do it, you know? Like, uh, if it's really not useful, if it's really not relevant to the story, nor if it's even a story itself all on, all on its own, I just don't see the point of it. So, you know, I, I just have a lot of focus, and I put a lot of importance on stories, uh, re story-related content, so, uh, they should have put a little more effort on some of the side quests that you do on this game. They really didn't, I don't know, I just feel like they went a little lazy with this game. You know, and I'm saying that it's uh, like crap, because, you know, I played through it once, played halfway through it a, a second time, and here I am playing it the third time. Uh, so, you know, it's not a bad game, it's just that it doesn't stand out to the other Fable games. So, um, yeah. I think a lot of people feel this way about, about this game, but nevertheless, I hope... Uh, you know, we can make this a fun ride, and, uh, you know, I'll be getting the best ending. Uh, well, I'm gonna be stopping here, because, uh, it's like a little, little town here in the middle of the woods. Not a town, more like a village. And then we'll continue next time, follow Walter. And we'll see what happens. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye! I've added your promise.